They did not, and the president's response and the Secret Service's response to the de events as they developed was determined by misinformation sometime. At one point, there was a report of a car bomb going off at the State Department. Uh, at another point, uh, there was a report that this plane that crashed in Pennsylvania was on its way towards Camp David, and those things helped determine the Secret Service's decision to keep the president out of Washington to put in place this plan to take him to Air Force bases, which are predetermined, uh, and keep him away uh, from harm. So the staff works on at the White House to get some sense of what is it. Thanks, Terry. I'll come back to you in just a minute, man. We've been joined in Washington by Leon Panetta, a former White House chief of staff for Bill Clinton, uh, now out of government, uh, back for the most part in California, if I remember correctly, Mr. Panetta. Um, That's correct. So what's the White House chief of staff do at a moment like this? Where do you reach? What buttons do you try to push? Who do you try to connect with? Are you in some respects at the mercy of the military and intelligence establishment at the moment? Well, you should not be. What you should do is try to organize the White House team so that uh, the main focus is in the White House. You have your security people, your military people, your defense people. You have your uh, national security advisor, your State Department people. I think it's better to run this kind of crisis directly from the White House so the president is in charge of not only what happened, but what to do. Take us back to Oklahoma City and to the attack on the barracks residence at al Khobar in, in Saudi Arabia. What am I, 96, 97, I apologize, I've forgotten. Um, I believe you're about 96. Were you just immensely frustrated that you just didn't know anything? Well, Oklahoma City, the first time uh, we heard of Oklahoma City, it was on television. And uh, we were sitting near the Oval Office watching television reports of what had happened. Uh, and it was only after it was first reported on television that we began to get some telephonic communication about what had taken place. Um, but you feel rather helpless because you know a tragedy has taken place, but you don't know all of the facts and why it happened. And, and you know, Oklahoma is a good example of not jumping to conclusions because in Oklahoma City, we had all kinds of thoughts that this was a Middle East mm. terrorist effort in Oklahoma, and it turned out not to be. So I hope this country has the patience to carefully investigate, determine who really did this, and then respond. We, 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 to, be, to, be, to be open about it, we've said this several times today and reminded people in Oklahoma City that our, that our tendency towards prejudice emerged pretty quickly and was proved to be wrong. Um, as you have tried, I assume, to talk to people around the world today, have you picked up anything which contributes to the understanding of this? Not really. I mean, I, you know, you, you, have, you have obviously your suspicions about who's involved. But we are a country that believes first and more foremost in justice. That's what distinguishes us from the people who carried out these acts. So I hope we take the time to fully investigate this matter, determine who did it, and then take appropriate action. That's what a great democracy does. But there is... Mr. Panetta, tremendous pressure on the president to strike back at somebody. We've struck back at Osama bin Laden's training camps in Afghanistan, didn't get him, spent a fortune, and didn't accomplish uh, very much. Is the pressure on the president huge to do something in order to satisfy the, the anger and the frustration of the American people? The pressure is incredible, Peter. Uh, it's coming from politicians on Capitol Hill. It's coming from constituents. It's coming from, I'm sure, many in the public who want to strike back in some way. The president is the leader of this country. He's got to take the time to make sure we do what's right. And what's right in this instance is to take the time to fully investigate this matter, determine who are the culprits, and then take appropriate action. We, you know, that, that's been the course of action that the United States has taken in the past. And it's the course of action we've got to take now. Thanks very much, Leon Panetta, for joining us, reminding us of the